Welcome back to 10 minutes lectures in computer science. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the purpose of concurrency control. Concurrency control, it's a process of managing concurrent operations on the database without having them to interfere with one another. If we permit them to interfere with one another, then they may end up in an inconsistent state. To discuss this, we will take an example of transactions T1 and T2. So T1 transfers money from account A to B, whereas T2 reduces the money on a certain percentage. Now, if we execute these two transactions with the initial value of A and B as 1000, then if we execute them in a serial order, first all the instructions from T1, then T2, or T2, all the instructions from T2, then T1, we would get these two results and both of these results are consistent results considered to be consistent results because as per the instructions involved in these transactions they are executed accordingly but if we execute them in an interleaved fashion for example case one some instructions are executed from t1 then some instructions are t2 then again some instructions are t1 in the time order in the order of time or they may be ex executing together. This is also interleaved transaction, case 2, where uh, both the instructions A equal to A minus 50 of transaction T1 and the begin transaction are coming together in the same timeline. So both are considered as interleaved execution of this transaction. So when we execute this way, there may be inconsistencies based on the operations that are performed based on the read and write operations that are performed in each cases. What would be the possible problems if we execute the transactions in concurrent manner? These are the problems. Lost update problem, uncommitted read problem, inconsistent analysis problem. Let us discuss one by one. Lost update problem. It is caused when multiple transactions are writing same data item. So in this case, one transaction produces a value and it is immediately overwritten by another transaction. We'll discuss this with an example. Here, transaction T1 starts a bit earlier than T2. Initial value for the data items A and B is equal to 1000. As a first instruction, T1 reads a value of A, it is going to see the old value that is 1000. Then it performs some operation. Then comes T2's read instruction. It performs a read operation and reads the value of A as 1000. It does some operation. Now T1 is writing the value of A that it produced. So as per T1, the value of A, new value of A will be 950. Then it executes some other instructions. Then the turn comes for T2. T2 also write the value that it produced. So the value produced by T2 for A is 900. Now as per the instruction it is going to write the value of A that means it overwrites A. Then it executes other instructions the transaction is over but if we execute them in a serial order for instance T1 started first so all the instruction from T1 then T2 we can expect the value of A is equal to 855, then B equal to 1050. But what happened is overwriting. So this overwriting resulted in A is equal to 900 and B is equal to 1050, an inconsistent state. What has caused this last update problem? It is the write-write conflict. Multiple transactions are trying to perform write operation on the same data item. So that will end up in a last update problem. The second problem is uncommitted read also called as dirty read problem. This problem is caused when a transaction reads a data item which was produced by another uncommitted transaction. Now this is called dirty read because the transaction that produced this value has not yet committed. 
Let us discuss the dirty read problem with an example. Transactions T1 and T2 with the data items A and B with the initial value 1000. Now T1 starts first. It reads the value of A 1000 and it performs some operation on A and it produces a new value. It writes a new value of A 950. After this instruction, T2 starts its first instruction. Hence, what T2 will see is 950, the value which is produced by T1, which is an uncommitted transaction. Using this value, T2 performs some operation and it produces a new value of A, that is 1045. Immediately after writing that value, transaction T2 commits. Now T1 starts executing the rest of the instructions, but for some reasons, T1 decides to roll back. That means T1 has to go back to the old consistent state, that is A and B is equal to 1000. If T1, suppose undone before starting of T2, no problem, because T2 is going to see a old value of A, then it produces a new value of A that is consistent. But what happened is, after commit of T2, T1 decides to roll back. Now, though we are going to get the old values of A and B, the operation which was performed by T2 is lost. This is the problem caused by dirty read. And the dirty read problem is caused by write read conflict. One transaction writes a value before commit, the second transaction read the return value. The third problem is inconsistent analysis problem. This happens when a transaction is performing aggregate operations on several data items. Simultaneously, another transaction is trying to perform update operation on few of the data items that is being consumed by the aggregate operation. Let us discuss that with an example. Here we see we have three data items A, B, C with a value, initial values 1000 and two transactions T2, the transaction T2 is performing an aggregate operation. T1 is transferring some amount from account A to account C. Now, if you see the timeline, both the transa T2, transaction T2 starts a bit earlier, then comes transaction 1 and both transaction 1 and 2 reads the initial value of A at instruction 3. Then A perform, transaction T1 performs a deduction operation. Transaction T2 performs a summing, that is aggregate operation. Then at the next instruction, T1 reads the value of C and adds a value which is deduced from A to C. After, suppose after the instruction of write C by T1, now the transaction T2 is going to read the value C. Now what the C will see is a different value, 1050 instead of just 1000. Hence, the value produced by the transaction T2 will be 3050 instead of 3000. Suppose if these two transactions executed in a serial order, first T1 or the instruction from T1 or T2, then the value produced will be 3000. In other cases as well, if T1 completed after T2 also, it is going to produce the same value, 3000. But due to this instruction, that is T1 writes a new value and that is consumed by T2 simultaneously due to these interleaved instructions, that value, the sum produced by transaction T2 is wrong, is wrong. It must be 3000, but it end up in a 3050. This is called inconsistent analysis problem. One more problem is there that is called unrepeatable read problem. This is uh, a case where a data items updated by a transaction between two read requests on the same data item by another transaction. A transaction is requesting for a read on a data item. By that time, another transaction updates the data item. For example, you are uh, booking a movie ticket. You are uh, First, you are checking the ticket availability. You see that there are four tickets available. Then you try to perform an update operation. Then during that time, another update operation is performed by another transaction. 
which reduces the seat. Now, if you see, if you want it, once you try to execute a write operation, you will never see the old value. So, this kind of problem is called unrepeatable read problem. This is also caused by interleaved execution of instruct. In this lecture, we discussed about the concurrency control and what is the need for concurrency control. What are the problems caused when we try to execute the transaction simultaneously? That is, when we try to in execute interleaved instructions of various transactions. Thank you.